I'm Rick Muncy, reporting to you from the 8th Floor Improv's locker room. The 8th Floor Improv Comedy Group just finished up their February show, and it is absolutely crazy in here, folks. Nuts. I've seen, I've seen strippers, I've seen champagne, I've seen improviser. I think I just saw Diane Sawyer do a line of coke off the sink. Absolute pandemonium in here. I'm gonna try and get an interview with one of the stars of the group. I think I see Dan White over there. Come on, come on. Excuse me, Mr. White, Dan White. Oh, hey Rick, what's up? First off, great show tonight. How do you feel the team did overall? Yeah, no, I think, uh, I think things went great out there today. Uh, audience seemed to really be loving it. Uh, you know, I think as improvisers, we're coming along really well. Everyone's really excited about the season. Uh, you know, Nate going out there doing his thing. That was some of the best simulated fellatio I've seen all year. Uh, you know, putting on that, that crown of shit was pretty funny. Um, yeah, I mean, I just think everyone overall is doing a great job, and we're all super excited. Uh, you know, obviously, a little disappointed in Rainy Fleming, but besides that, you know, I think everyone's doing really well. Ha! Ricky Fleming is the worst member of the team. Besides him, how would you rate your team's performance as a whole tonight? Um, yeah, you know, I think we're doing great. I don't really believe in, in rating performances. I think that's bad for a team, but, uh, you know, overall, I think everyone's just really happy with each other. Uh, you know, we have a lot of fun out there. I think the audience sees that, uh, make a lot of intelligent connections, and for the most part, just kind of gel as a unit. And tell me, is there anything the fans have to look forward to in the March show? Yeah, I think they have a lot to be excited for. I think anyone in the audience tonight knows that uh, we got a great group of people, and you know, when it comes down to it, you win with people. So. Oh, hey, hey, Nate, like Nate, right here, this guy. <laughs> oh, no, this guy right hey, here. That this was guy. incredible tonight, oh, man. You that were was incredible. awesome. Hey, come that on. was great. Keep it up, man. So, you know, hey, don't party too hard tonight. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just people, you know, like Nate. It just we're goes out there and does his thing. And, you we know, are. we all feed off of it. It's like, an, you know, it's like an energy force. I am the Madden so. King. The yeah, I think the March Madness show is going to be great for people. U.S. Bank Theater, what's not to love? You know, we got a lot of great things planned. You know, we're really trying to mix it up every show. We don't want to give people the same thing. We got it we know what they come out to see, and, and we're going to give it to them. So when it comes down to it, we're going to bring our game out every week, okay? But, you know, at that same time, why can't we mix things up and have a little fun? So that's kind of our approach to it every, every week. And, um, we are I think that's all you can do, bottom line. So, yeah, I'm really excited. I think the fans are going to be, too. <laughs> Thanks so much, Dan. Sure, Rick, anytime. Appreciate it. Well, thank you, fans, for tuning in tonight. As always, I've been your host, Rick Muncy. Coming to you from the 8th Floor Improv Locker Room. Hey, hey, I want to thank our special guest hey, tonight, you, Dan Wright. Whoa! Time to interview Hat number us. one! No, we did it! No, it! We did it. Hey, cut I'm going to kiss you. I'm thank you, fans, you. for turning in. Come You're here. not going to kiss me. You're not going to hey, kiss me, all right? Hey, I got something hey, for you. It. I got something for you. Get it down cut here. Cut it. Cut it.